This is Keep Calm and Mother On, a special series brought to you by Everyday Motherhood. And I am Christy Thomas. So that was my ukulele. Way to go, kid. Is it Blur's Day? No, it's Tuesday, April 21st. I am so glad that you're here today. If you haven't sent in your speak pipe message, I need your help. I really want to make it until June 10th, which is the stay-at-home order for the state of Virginia, which is the longest one there is in the United States so far. So please send in your message at www.speakpipe.com backslash everyday motherhood. Right now, I need about 188 more messages to get to that date. So please text this to your friends. Here's my tip for today. Today is Queen Elizabeth II of Great Britain's birthday. So for your tip today, I think you should throw yourself a royal high tea. Maybe make some little cucumber sandwiches if you have the things, bake some cookies, have some tea. Invite your kids, dress up, wear fancy hats, whatever it is, just use the novelty to make today special. Sing happy birthday to the queen while you wash your hands today. I don't know. I'm American. Well, here are your tips from moms all around the world. Let's keep calm and mother on. Hi, mamas. I'm Andrea Hope, and my tip is to attend an international virtual arts event. So I'm a poet living in Poland, and because we have two very young children, I haven't been able to attend a poetry reading in a while because they usually happen at night. But now, because so many arts events are happening online, we as moms can choose to join these events and just mute our microphones if we need to attend to the children, for example. So the reason I said an international event is because why not take this opportunity and be adventurous and attend an event in a country that you wouldn't otherwise have access to. So like I said, I live in Poland, but this last week I've attended poetry events in Israel and Ireland, and I hope to find more countries as well. So I hope that you do enjoy this tip. To all you amazing moms, my name is Keisha. I'm a mom and a minister. I'm so delighted to share with you all. We live in a society where life and time moves at such a fast pace, sometimes causing us to be disconnected from what matters most. During this time of reset, I noticed that families are being redefined and restored in such a healthy way. Families are talking more praying and dining together more without the extra hustle and bustle of not having enough time. One strategy that I strongly urge and encourage moms to implement in your daily routine of um, arts and crafts and homeschooling is character building, spiritual development, teaching your children positive affirmations, scriptures, prayers, songs of inspiration that would help to empower and edify their soul. It's so important to build our children from the inside out during this time of life, one that I believe we will never get again. So enjoy this time of motherhood and stay strong. Hi, I'm Liz from Retro Girl Worksheets, and I just want all the other moms out there to make sure that you take time for yourself. You are just as important as everyone in your family, and you need to take care of yourself. If that means taking five minutes just to go off by yourself, do it. It's worth it, and you will feel so much better when you get back to your family afterwards. Hi, friends. It is Colleen Kessler from RaisingLifelongLearners.com, and I just want to take a quick second to remind you in this crazy, chaotic, unprecedented time of social distancing that you are the absolute perfect parent for your kiddos. No matter how quirky, how differently wired, how anxious, how nervous, how scared, or how energetic your kiddos are, you are already equipped to be exactly what they need in this time. Stay calm. Remember that you are their best person and know that you're not alone. No matter how crazy it is, it is crazy for all of us and I'm pulling for you. You've got this. Take care of yourself and love on those kids. 
Hi everyone, my name is Ingrid Janssen from London in the UK. I'm currently working from home and so is my husband and we have our two kids from 11 and 13 at home as well. With my friend Leslie, I run the Declutter Hub podcast, which is all about decluttering and organizing your home. We believe now is the perfect time to get your family and your kids involved with fun decluttering and organizing projects. Our suggestion would be to have a look at photographs and memorabilia together and remember all those good times. Such a great thing to do now we're all indoors. So use your time productively and have fun finding those hidden treasures. How awesome is that? My tip is to celebrate the Queen's birthday. And the last tip today is from London. This project constantly blows my mind. Thank you for being here. Continue the conversation with me in the Everyday Motherhood Fans Facebook group. Or you can find me on Instagram at Everyday Runner Christy or at Play for Life Moms. All those things are in the show notes. But mostly, don't forget, I need your voice. So if you haven't, please send in your 90 second tip. We're all waiting for you. You're the right mom for your kids and your kids are the right kids for you. Colleen Kessler also told you this today. Go take time for yourself and have a great Tuesday. Okay, I'm throwing this in here at the end because if you're still listening, you're a super fan. And I want to offer a webinar just for you, a private live event where I talk about drive-by connection ideas. But before I do that, I want to know if that's something you want. So in today's show notes, there will be an email link and it will tell me that you want information on the drive-by connection with your kids webinar. Okay, send the email to me by the end of April in order to be included. I think the webinar is going to happen early in May. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.